Hello, I'm Jovan. Uh, I grew up in Springfield, Massachusetts my entire life. Uh, I just recently graduated from Roger L. Putnam and I'm a first time voter. Jovan, this is the very first presidential election that you are able to vote in. Tell me, how are you feeling? What are your expectations? To be honest, I'm really feeling, uh, well, I originally uh, was hoping Andrew Yang would uh, would be the Democratic, uh, or, you know, um, president, well, going as the president, uh, but obviously he didn't make it. The, uh, and I'm a little shocked as well as embarrassed kind of that it's going the way it's going, uh, especially coming from uh, a family that my, my family is mainly Democrat. Uh, I moved to Georgia, so I got to witness a little bit of the Republican side. And um, it really I think that's where I kind of got my independence, uh, my independence stand on. And so, like, as as I'm watching the election and watching, you know, uh, I, was, I was already kind of biased uh, towards towards Trump. Um, but, you know, when you go into these things, you have to be unbiased. You have to you have to do your own research. And, you know, I started doing my own research and uh, and I'm just shocked. Like, wow, we really have these two individuals as our presidential, you, you know, nominees and stuff. And it was just. Yeah, it's very confusing. It's very hard, uh, but it, it to me is it's just shocking. Before we get into the individuals that are the candidates right now for the election, you mentioned the word embarrassed. So what what is it about this election that's embarrassing for um, you? To me, uh, to me, um, you know, I have I have a lot of um, family members who are in the military. Uh, you know, I've been surrounded by the military so i've learned a lot of leadership uh skills that they that they've taught me how a leader should be uh, i have a lot of family members who are either uh you know who who were good influences so to me both candidates you know they didn't show anything in terms of leadership uh especially during uh the the debates it felt like it felt like two high schoolers arguing, you know, um, it was embarrassing because you're supposed to be the president of the United States, you're supposed to hold yourself uh, like accountable, you're supposed to hold yourself, you know, higher than the, the most average person. Uh, and it's just as as an American, it was just like, wow, you know, we how we've come this far just to, you know, end up right here. Um, and it's this is the best we can do, you know, Um but it it's just it's just shocking. That's that's what it is. It's just really shocking. So election day is literally right around the corner, but you're still undecided right now on who to vote for. What's the reasoning behind that? Because, uh, like I said, like I said, I was uh, going for Yang. Uh, the he the, the guy seemed educated. He uh, he came from two hardworking families. Uh, but then you know when he kind of got booted, I was like, oh. Okay, um, so uh, I'm leaning more towards the Trump side, surprisingly, after all my biasness behind it, um, mainly because after doing, like I said, people are just influenced by others. We can't, we, we can't um, uh, deny that. Uh, so instead of, you know, because I was, I was pro Biden, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, we got to get this guy out. Um, but I did my own research and, uh, you know, the criminal bill act that, that Joe Biden did, it's just, I, I, everyone that argues about Trump, oh, Trump is racist, Trump is this, but are in support of Biden. You know, I, I, I understand people change. I understand, I'm, I'm not denying that, but it's just, I can't, you know, back someone who's been in office for, who's had, you know, power, political power for such a long time. And um, and the same thing with all oh, Trump is anti LGBT. Biden also wrote in some bills that was anti LGBT too. So it it's and I'm undecided because you're choosing between lesser of the two evils. They both have skeletons in their closet. They both are are have said and done things that no one should really be proud of. No one should ignore. No one should uh, set aside or you know what I mean. Um, so that's what makes me very indecided about things. And 
and both their policies. Uh, but I'm leaning more towards the Trump side, surprisingly. So what is it going to take for you come election day when you're at the polls to actually be able to make that decision? Like I said, to this day, I'm still doing re like research on both sides. Uh, and I'm still waiting for that, that leadership quality. We ha we're having crazy problems within our country uh, as itself. We're coming, we are becoming more racially divided. We are becoming, especially through this pandemic, a lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people, you know, are, are struggling. They're struggling. And uh, we need to come together. Uh, and I'm just looking for that candidate to bring us together. And another thing is that I'm really like, what's really like holding me back is how, as a country, how are we going to deal with foreign, with foreign affairs? Um, you know, we have, we have countries like China who are trying to globalize their economy and are becoming a military threat. Um, we have Russia who's also becoming a military threat. And then, uh, you know, we have, we, and then now to find out that both Russia and Iran are influencing our election, uh, regardless of who becomes a president, Joe Biden, Trump, that needs to, that needs to get dealt because it's not, it's unfair to the American people. You're clearly informed about a lot of the topics and issues that are going on. Where do you get your information from? I try, I tell people, uh, if you're going to do your research, um, try to find multiple sources and try to find independent sources because you don't want to go to uh, uh, sources that lean left and you don't want to go to sources that lean right because you can look up uh, uh, a Trump a Trump thing and if it's lean towards the Democrat side, it's just going to be negative. If you lean towards the Republican side, it's going to lean more towards the Republican. Oh, oh this, is, this, is, this is good. It's great. It's great. It's great. When in fact, there's holes in the plan. There's whole, you know, um, but I try to find independent sources as, as much as I can. But, uh, you know, during this, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, but I, and a lot of people tend to get some of their information off Facebook or off of their uncle that shared this, you know, this link and it misinforms people, um, which doesn't really do justice, especially now where social media is such an influencer. Um, you have celebrities jumping into, oh, vote vote this person and because oh he's he's the he's a he or she's a celebrity okay i can you know um and it, it it's just i try to find the most independent source as possible now for other people out there who may be watching and feel the same exact way that you do that they're undecided and they have issues with both candidates uh, and things the that they like with both candidates and they're saying, I don't want to vote because of that, because I don't know who to choose. What advice would you give them? I would definitely give the advice and listen, don't give up. Do some more research. And sometimes you're not going to, like me, I don't 100% side. Some some things that Trump says or does, I'm like, that's that's ridiculous. That, But in terms of his economic plan, um, in terms of like his military plan, I really support that. It could be to buy the people's vote, uh, his uh, his plan to reform black communities. It could, it could be to buy the people's vote. However, the fact that he's doing it is is good. Um, and and uh, just and then same thing with Joe Biden. Joe Biden wants to switch to clean clean energy source. I I 100% want that to happen. Our, this planet, this is only one planet we could live on so far. So make it last as long as possible. Um, he also wants to bring equality between two genders. He also wants to bring equality towards the LGBT, towards black uh, black communities and uh, people of color. So again, it it is confusing. It is confusing, but it's up to you to choose who you believe can be a better edge. Um, that's what's beautiful about about the country we live in. You can vote, you can choose whoever, you don't have to tell anyone. You know, if you wanna vote Trump, vote Trump. If you wanna vote Biden, vote Biden. Um, don't let anyone discourage you or don't, don't let anyone um, beat you up or try to influence you uh, on your political, uh, political thoughts. And, but the fact that you are voting is great already. Or the fact that you already are having the thoughts of voting is beautiful already. Uh, it, and, to get into politics, it's not, it's not, it's not, 
easy you know it, it's it's confusing even as as young as I, I i'm just starting to finally get my footsteps and, and start walking um and uh it, it's just find your own voice find your own thoughts uh don't be someone else or don't try to be someone else to impress others uh and that's just my advice to them uh just follow follow everything you believe in uh follow your dreams what you think is is correct what you think should happen um but yeah that's my advice for them jovan you were willing to share with us the reasons why you're undecided and even which way you're leaning towards voting but politics sometimes is that taboo subject to talk about what are your thoughts on that um my personal opinion uh, i feel like the people should throw away that idea uh the longer we've stopped well the the moment we stop talking about it is the moment we stop being educated about it uh and it starts it starts to become a more sensitive topic uh the more we hide from it the more we you, you know now it comes to the point where just because i have a different political opinion i'm an enemy i or it gets heated or an argument uh begins when that should have happened it, it shouldn't you should both sit down you even have a, and have a, a respective a, a respectful com conversation between the two you even have adults now who can't even sit down and have a conversation because they have different political uh beliefs um i i feel like i feel like it should be more advertised that you don't have to be democrat you don't have to be republican you could be in the middle you could be independent uh, you can see both sides, or you can be a Democrat that sees Republican size, or you can be a Republican that sees Democrat size. Um, I, I feel like more people should be informed. More people should talk about it. This should be something that is important. Uh, it should be something that is is that should be, like I said, spoken about. Because the longer we hide from it, the longer we don't talk about it, the more sensitive it becomes as a topic.